Hello. Welcome to the first weekly webinar on teaching your kids to code easier than playing a video game. So if your kids know how to play a video game, they can easily learn how to code. There's so many free tools out there. I'm going to share one with you right now. Um, so weekly webinar one today is March 2nd and welcome. My name is Elaine. I founded K-12 STEM Club. My name is Elaine Griggs. My website is k12stemclub.com. This email and webinar will go out by email to those on my mailing list. So to get on my mailing list, visit k12stemclub.com and just go ahead and give me your email and we will get you on the mailing list where you will receive the replays of the webinars and slide decks each week. So the weekly webinars, I'm committed to them weekly and let's see how they go. This is the first one. So the, today I'm talking about pencilcode.net. Um, so on the slides, the first slide, you're going to have a link to get into that. Um, this is a free resource created by David Bao, um, who came and presented it to a teacher's group many years ago when he created it. And there's a very inexpensive guide book that is on the first slide. So when you go to make a free account on pencil code, let me jump to that now out of the slides. You're just going to make a new account simply like this and choose a um, account name that's not a real name and a password. And remember to write down your account name and password so that you can get into this later. Um, so when you open this screen, the very first thing that you're going to see is a little bit of code right here. So this screen is set up like lots of other what are called IDEs, Integrated Development Environments. And here you have your first column. That's your code. You're in your code blocks in this case. And they are separated into categories. Your blue blocks are your move blocks. Then your purple blocks are your art blocks. Your pink blocks here are the text blocks. You have sound blocks, control blocks, operators, sprites, and snippets of code that you can use that are prepared, pre-prepared pre for your use. Um, so you can, right here on this screen, play what's happening here. And if you just look at the code, can you understand what's being said? Well, we have a green dot. So we have a command called dot and it's purple. So it comes from the art column or the art category. And then our turtle goes forward 100. And the dot has a second parameter. We call these parameters or inputs of 100. So one great way to just start to learn how to code is what if I change what I see here? Now, when you see these little upside down triangles, they're called defaults, and there's always going to be more information anywhere in computers that you see a little upside down triangle. So let's make a red dot. And what if we change this to 50? Sometimes the immediate changes you want, like half or double, right? Now, oh, we have a smaller red dot, but we still go forward to 100. Let's do our first challenge. What if I'm going to turn this back to 100? What do we want to go forward if we want to put our turtle at the edge of the dot instead of all the way behind, behind, all the way beyond it? I want to end up on the edge of my dot. So these are the types of little challenges that you can do. And that might be the end of, and then you or your child might guess that number. And that might be the end of your first time using this with your child. Now, if they're interested in moving on, maybe you start to wonder, wait, the turtle is just moving around. Can the turtle make a line? The turtle can make a line. So for the turtle to make a line, 
we're going to use a pen. So before the forward motion, let's try a pen command. Check it out. The turtle made a line now to the edge of the dot. Can we go backwards? Let's see in our move block. We can go backwards. Can we go backwards all the way to the other edge of the circle? We did it all the way to the other edge of the circle. Now you can either do this right, you can put this video on with your child and do it together or just do anything afterwards. The, the lesson is not the important part, it's the wondering. So what does your child wonder now? Can I get that turtle back to the middle? I can, how? How can I get the turtle back to the middle and take a turn? I want my turtle to go back to the middle and I want my turtle to turn, right turn 90 degrees. Oh, now what if it goes forward 100? Right turn 90 degrees, forward 100. Great. So we've really started to manage our turtle here. Now, what if we just took away the dot? By dot. And we see what's going on now. Could we make a square instead of having the turtle? Um, so we have the turtle go forward and back. That's okay. What if we just want the turtle to go forward and take a right turn? Let's try to make a square. What happens when we make a square? Forward and take a right turn. What do we do now? If we want to make a square, I'm actually going to make a square a little bigger. So I'm going to get back my forward 100. What if we want to make a square? What would we do now? Forward again. And then what do we do now if we want to make a square? Right turn again. So this can really support the children's learning in their shapes. What do we do now if we want a square? So I'm so sure that you can finish your square now. Okay. And now you've done your first, you're a programmer. You are a programmer with your child now. So let's just see um, where that slideshow went. Can I find it? I don't know. Oh, here it is. Here it is. So we did all this. We made a free account. We're going to keep track of our password. This is what the opening screen looks like. We're going to click run. And it talks about putting down the pen and changing the color of the dot, making a square. And now we want to save the file. And be able to open it again. Okay. So, and a little bit more about um, software development on the last slide. So, um, there are a number, limited number of commands in pencil code. It is easy to learn. It's a great first programming experience. The language here is called CoffeeScript. It's like Logo which is a turtle language. This is a procedural language. There are hundreds of programming languages. And like I just said, you're not a, you are now a programmer. I'm going to show you how to save your first code. By next week, you and your children will be programmers. So if you come and watch webinar two next Wednesday, live or on this replay, now you're going to be watching it and you're going to already be programmers. So we will do the second lesson. Programmers write software. You wrote software to draw a square, square on the screen. So see you next week to add our first loop to our programs. And let me show you in Pencil Gold just how to save this. So 
see save right here and remember what I told you about the defaults. We're going to copy and save this as square or my square. You can name it whatever you want as long as it's one word, one word. So just showing you if I want to name this my square, sometimes I'll name this and this is called camel case. I'll name this starting with a lower cast lowercase letter and then putting square in the uppercase letter to indicate the second word. So that's that's some advanced computer science right there. And now we save this. And if you just click on your name and you pull that up, next time you open this, you're going to open your file, just how you left it. So good luck finishing your square. I know you can do it. Here's a little hint. And let's see, what color will you do your square? Will you make a change in the degrees? Are you brave? What if I make an 80 degree square instead of 90? What will happen? It's okay. Ask your kids, what happens if I make an 80 degree square? Is that even possible? What will you get to talk about then with your kids? Let's just see what it looks like. We make an 80, we turn that 80 degrees instead of 90 degrees. What happened to our square? You might ask your kids that. What happened to our square? So have fun with this. You might wonder and make different decisions as to what happens to your square. And I'll see you next week. Bye, everyone.